damn, you see how that shit just stopped? Because somebody don't want to make change. I say that eight of cups energy. I say walking away from something you need to walk away from. That shit just said stop. The karmic energy just stopped it, right? It, I hit the stop button. The karmic didn't want you to know. You know, you have to fucking make a change, Ashe. You can't stop the resistance of change, Ashe. You can't, you can't resist the change, Ashe. You can't stop and be in resistance, spirit is saying, Ashe. I don't like the way it fucking just cut off like that. Like, ugh, makes me mad, Ashe. <clears throat> so somebody could be making you mad. Or somebody could be getting mad because you want this fucking change. Like, you hear I'm cussing? They, they, they're mad because you want to fucking change. You don't want to be in this relationship no more. You don't want to be at this job no more. You don't want to be um, in the, the, the same apartment or the same house or, you know, um, with the same family members or, you know, um, you don't want it. But somebody is getting fucking mad because you want to make the change. That's why you're sitting there and you're letting the fucking water drown you, Ashe, for someone else to hold you in 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 in, in hostage contempt. Um, you know, um, somebody holding you back from change. Spirit is saying, Ashe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because once I stepped out, and this is interesting because I just thought about it. I say, remember I said um, it was strange because somebody on a motorcycle just drove up and asked me, did I want to ride? Okay, so once we stepped out of the house that was um, flooding, I say, and it was a lot of us. Once we stepped out the house that was flooding, Ashe, we realized that it was dry land outside this house, outside this neighborhood, outside this community. You understand? Because we were no longer resisting change, Ashe. We stepped out to dry land, Ashe. So spirit is saying, Ashe, within you making this but then you having this resistance of this change. You're, you're holding yourself back because you're going to step out into stable grounds, Ashe. And the, the candle just flickered again. You're going to step out into stable grounds once you make this fucking change, Ashe. Once you make this change, it's going to be a stable foundation. I say because when I stepped out this house, when we stepped out this house, it was dry land. It was no more water. I say it was no more water. We weren't drowning anymore. We we weren't um, we we weren't sc scrambling anymore. It was like it was a different scene. I say so. Once you make this change, once you bring about this change, it's going to be a different scene. In your lives, Ashe. So take these messages as they resonate for you. That's that's so profound to me because we were fucking, you were fucking, we were all fucking, you know, you know. It was like, and I'm getting that John Lund that John London song. My head's underwater, but I'm breathing fine. So somebody know they're drowning, but they're still feeling like they're breathing fine because, you know, they don't want to make this change, Ashe. But Spirit is saying, once you make this change, Ashe, you're not going to even have to be underwater, water, Ashe, and you're going to be breathing just fine. Like, you know, you don't have to continue to try to breathe underwater once you make this change. You're going to be on dry land breathing properly, Spirit is saying. 
with no worries, no fears, no doubts, no nothing, because you, you, you conquered your fears by making this change. Ashe, very profound. Ashe, very profound. Ashe, and so, yeah. Wow. So you know, stop resisting change is what spirit wants you to do. Spirit wants you to stop resisting change. Ashe. This is for someone because, you know, um, like like Spirit has been saying, this is the year for karma and dharma. So if you are resisting change, you could be stopping your good dharma, Ashe. And if you are resisting change, you could be stopping the karma for someone else, divine infinite light being. So take the messages as they resonate for you, Ashe. But this is the year for change because karma is coming about. You know, all the people that did wreak havoc in the world is 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 receiving their karma. And maybe a lot of motherfuckers don't want their karma. I say this is why, you know, they're resisting change. I say and um a lot of people are going to receive good karma, I say Dharma, I say, and it could be scary to you to to be stepping into all this this good dharma, not not feeling like you deserve it, but spirit is saying you deserve it. I say you deserve these good changes in your life. I say, you know, whether they may be scary or not. I say, but they are good changes for you. I say, you know, leaving a, a abusive um, relationship that is good change. I say that is good dharma for you. I say not having to experience that, not having to have your kids experience that. You know, stepping away from a abusive job setting. I say, you know, where they overworked you, they uh, underpaid you. I say, and you're stepping to a new job and you're having fear of that. Then you know that is good dharma. I say, don't be afraid of that good dharma. I say, you know. Um, um, so many things, so many things, I say, so many people, so many places, I say, so take the messages as they resonate for you, I say, um, you know, stepping out of, to, out of religion, I say, going into spirituality, I say, broadening, broadening your horizons, I say, not being um, condemned to, you know, that old way of thinking, because that is spirituality, thinking outside of the box, I say, letting your subconscious mind um, have a new perception on life, I say, you know, re religion keeps you in a a, a, a one set mind frame, Ashe. It keeps you stuck in the box, Ashe. And so, you know, um, you could be fearing the change of, you know, going into spirituality. Somebody could be, you know, going through the dark night of the soul, you know, the awakening, Ashe, and having a lot of um, anxiety, um, fear, um, um, feeling like you're drowning, Ashe, because in the deep, in these different emotions, Ashe. So take the messages as they resonate for you, Ashe. But this is a very, very, very um, powerful prophetic dream, Ashe. To be getting all these different messages out of this one dream is a very powerful dream, Ashe. And I, I thank Spirit for allowing me to be the vessel in in in. This power, I say, this authority, I say, this acknowledgement, I say, um, this, um, this change, I say, this prominent change, I say, um, very powerful, I say, somebody could be resisting the change of, um, a diet, I say, that just came to me, I say, you know, you've been stuck on this one way of eating, I say, but you know your body needs to be susceptible to something else because, you know, your body is starting to reject all this foul shit that you're throwing into your body and you, you're resisting the change, but you have to get healthy for you, I say, you have to get healthy for your mind, body, and your stability, I say, so spirit is saying, don't resist that change when your body is rejecting shit, that means you your body wants something new. Change, I say. I say, yeah, change, I say. So this has been, been, been very, 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 very powerful, I say.
very, 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 very powerful. I'm saying I'm, I'm thanking Spirit for the power. I'm thanking Spirit for it, allowing me to lay down and be able to see these messages so clear and accurately, I say, you know, and to bring them forth um, to the divine massive energy, I say, feminine and masculine energy, masculine and feminine energy, take the messages as they resonate. This could be something your kids is going through, through something your, your, your parents is going through, something your family members is going through, something you're going through, something, uh, over, uh, you know, um, an uh, ex-lover is going through, a baby mama is going through, baby daddy is going through, you know, because sometimes you still remain friends and you, you still, you know, know what the other partner, the other ex-partner is going through, I say. So, you know, take these messages as they resonate for you or whoever they resonate for you in your life, I say. But Spirit is saying, um, don't have... Um, the resistance of change, I say, um, um, don't be afraid of change, I say, because it all goes back to change, resisting change. Don't hold, don't, don't put, don't build a brick wall, um, to keep you from changing, I say, if you have a brick wall up, Knock that brick wall down, Spirit is saying, so you can make and adjust new changes in your life, Ashe. Uh, and I'm seeing, I'm seeing um, Brewster's Place, Ashe. Remember the movies Brewster's Place? How they fucking wanted change so bad in their fucking lives, Ashe. And I'm getting chills, I'm getting chills, I'm getting chills. How they wanted change so bad in their life, but, you know, it was so much that was holding them back, hindering them, um, keeping them um, feeling like they had to stay stuck, Ashe. And it, it, in the end, Ashe, oh, I'm getting so many fucking chills right now, Ashe. In the end, they they just came to the, the two, you know, the the they they came to the decision I say that they were not going to let this brick wall hold them back anymore I say this this brick wall that somebody else had built for them I say they didn't even build the fucking brick wall for themselves I say somebody else had built this fucking brick wall I say and, and somebody built this book wall for you or somebody you know, Ashe, and you want change, Ashe, you don't want to be drowning in this, this sorrow of not being able to get out, Ashe, you want this fucking change, and in this end, they just went down and they just fucking tore this brick, that brick wall to pieces, you know, just all of them just tore this brick wall and so maybe this is us as a massive collective community you know with all of us wanting this change you know when we're making this change within our lives together we're coming together and we're just tearing this fucking brick wall down I say just take the messages as they resonate for you but my whole body is fucking getting chills right now different spots in my body is chilling chilling and chilling so somebody wants to just chill somebody just wants to chill yeah somebody just wants to chill like yeah and I feel like something's touching me like I feel like something's touch like literally fucking touching me so the spirits is is fucking touching me right now because I feel them touching me right now like literally I say like literally I'm just like literally I feel the spirits touching me like literally like I'm no lie, 5.33 in the a.m. And I just had to click the camera to me because I feel like motherfuckers is just touching me. <laughs> like, literally. Like, yes, the divine infinite light beings. This was my prophetic dream. I say, wow, I'm so fucking disappointed that, you know, the climate had to come in between us. I say, excuse my parents, you know, I was sleeping. I'm still in the bed. I say, um, anyways, but, um, my head is all covered up and yeah. Um, <laughs> um, 
Yeah, spirit wants you to wake up jolly and happy in the morning. Spirit is not in the morning. You see, that's why you wake up morning. Because spirit wants you to wake up jolly and happy in the a.m. I say, in the a.m. Like when you, I'm in the bed, I'm jolly, I'm happy. I say, I haven't even got out, out um, gotten out the bed yet. And um, I'm jolly and I'm happy. I say, and this is what spirit wants for you in the a.m. when you arise, I say, to wake up in, in that good dharma, in that positive energy, in that motivating, vibrant, lively energy, I say, and, you know, um, by you changing, this could, you, you too can experience this, by you stepping out on faith, I say, um, in that full, um, energy i shade that you know that energy of um not knowing what's going on but knowing that spirit has you i say with with whatever endeavor it is with you making this change i say um bringing um prosperity and peace and abundance and happiness and joy to your life i say yeah um this is what spirit wants for you I say, and so I'm 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 not gonna go any further, but remember, um, as spirit was saying, as spirit revealed, as spirit reminded me, when we stepped outside of the building, we were on solid ground. I say there was no more um water, we were not drowning, I say, because we were no longer resisting the change. We stepped outside. We grabbed our one little bag because that's all we could grab because, you know, besides the ones we had already put in the car, we couldn't take everything. So everything was fucking soaked, Ashe. It was, it was done for. It was, it was a wrap, Ashe. Um, so we get, we, we, we grabbed this one little bag and once we stepped out that door, it was dry fucking land. It was dry land. It was no more water. It was no more water. So stop resisting change. You you stop drowning yourself with the thought of change. Step out. Step out. Get out. Get out. Somebody needs to get out. That get out is is coming to me. Like somebody has to get out. Just get out. Just get out. Leave it fucking behind. You know? Um in, one, in the one fool's card, um, I'm seeing, you know, them taking a leap over the, the, the cliff. I say, like, the leaf, you know, they're going to dive over this cliff. And in the other fool's card, I see them, you know, got this one fucking bag. I say, or is it the fool's card? Um, it's one of them cards. Got this one fucking bag, I say, and th th this is all they got with the stick. The bag, you know how you're running away, how you used to, how they used to portray people to run away in the back. And I remember, <laughs> I remember my son, my youngest son, running away like that. He, you know, he packed his little bag when he was young, because he, he, he used to run away all the time, right? The autism. And so, <laughs> he, he packed his little bag, put it in a stick, wrapped his shit up, and had it, and, it, you know, he, running away I show you and so somebody feels like they have to run away from from somebody I say <laughs> that's not funny excuse me forgive me I'm laughing at my son but if you feel like you have to run away please spirit is saying run and run as run, get out run as far as you can I say to make that change I say if you have to go into this protective services uh, in hiding run do what you need to do, Ashe. For for yourself, for your family, Ashe. Do what you need to do for your protection, Ashe. Make this change for your protection, Ashe. Start this new endeavor for your security, Ashe. Spirit is saying, Ashe. And so I'm gonna leave it there, Ashe. But this has been a very powerful prophetic dream. I I, I mean I feel like this is the most powerful one I've had in, in a long time, Ashe. And so I'm grateful for that. Ashe, I'm grateful to be the vessel at this present moment. Um, the sun is not out, but it's starting to um,
turn into day, Ashe. So that night will turn into day, Ashe. It's not always going to be night, Ashe. Um, it's it's reminding me of that that TikTok tr that TikTok trend. Um, are you? Um, I'm not already always ready for the night. I'm not ready for the day, but I'm ready for the night. Some the, some that shit. Remember when that shit? Like when we was in the pandemic, that shit was um popular. I say I'm not ready for the night, but I'm ready for the day or some shit like that. But um spirit is saying it's not gonna always seem dark. Once you make this change, you're gonna see the light, I say. It's not gonna always be gloomy, it's not gonna always you're not gonna always feel this anxiety, you're not gonna always feel this depression, you're not gonna always feel this heaviness of darkness, I say. You're gonna see the fucking light at the end of the tunnel is what spirit is saying, I say. And so, um, don't be afraid to resist, um, don't be in this energy of resisting change, I say. And so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm sitting um, pure loving healing. Yeah, I'll be smoking. <laughs> Energy out your way. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say. Um, loving healing energy out your way in this um beautiful AM. I say, what's today? Oh, it's Monday. It's happy. I hate Mondays. No, I'm just like happy Monday to you all. It's motivated. It's motivational Monday. So be motivated, I say. Be motivated in, in the moment, in the energy, I say. Knowing that spirit has um, good karma for you, I say. Good dharma for you, I say, when you make this change. Knowing that your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your supernatural a supernatural spiritual love war team is waiting for you to make this change your divine ancestors are waiting for you to break these curses your ancient ancestors are waiting for you to step out on the leap of leap of faith a leaf somebody needs to catch that four leaf clover i say but a leap of faith i say your yeah, four leaf clovers our lucky luck is real, I say. So you better catch the four leaf clover, baby. When it comes closer, uh, I don't know, but <laughs> anyways, 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 yes. Um, 5 41 in the a.m. on the clock, anyways. I'm sending pure loving healing energy out to you all. It's starting to get lighter and lighter and lighter. You're starting to see my background. So I got to get out of here. I got to go. I got to, I got to, um, vamos. What is vamos? I got to scramble. Somebody feeling like they got a vamos scramble. What is vamos? What is vamos? What, what is that? I don't know. Somebody out there knows. Anyways, may the peace be in you. <laughs> As it is within me. Yeah, I could be goofy. I could be goofy. I could be goofy. Somebody likes goofy, I say. Somebody wants to go to Disneyland. Somebody just came from Disneyland. Somebody planning a trip to Disneyland. The camera is flickering. I'm not the camera. The candle. The candle is flickering. I say the spirits are always with us. So remember, when... It comes to you making this change. Know that spirit is always with you. I say, never leaves the vessel of you. I say, so I'm gonna leave it on that note. I say. <laughs>